Hey guys, okay, welcome to page 283 and 284. Your lesson today is actually super easy. And the crazy thing is, is if you have a brother or a sister that's like in the fifth grade book right now, they learn the same thing during these two weeks. So maybe you've already heard the video or maybe you're gonna learn it first, who knows. Okay, but if this is average. Average in Spanish is promedio. Everyone say average. Everyone say promedio. Okay, what does that mean? It means like this. Like, let's say that these are your notas, right? You have 97, 95, 90, right? And you want to know what do you think you might get? What's the close thing that you might get on the next test? You're probably going to get somewhere around your average because this is this is what you muscle males do all the time around this number. Here's the rules with average, you guys. Your answer will never be bigger than the highest number that you have or smaller than the lowest number that you have because you're searching for the middle, the number kind of in the middle of everything, okay? So listen to that again. Tu respuesta nunca va a ser arriba del número más grande o abajo el número más pequeño. Entonces, eso significa que las respuestas posibles de esos tres números son entre, están entre 90 y 97. Nunca va a tener el promedio de 98 porque eso es de, uh, más que el número más grande y nunca va a tener un promedio bajo 90, como 88, 89, porque es menos de, el, del número más pequeño, ¿ok? So, what do you do to average? There's two pasos, ¿ok? One, two pasos. One, sumar. Second, dividir. Add and divide. Add and divide. Watch. You add these together. Seven plus five is 12. Put your one right here. One plus nine is 10 plus nine is 19 plus nine is 28. And you get 282 and then you divide. Divide by what? You count, you have one, two, three numbers, right? You have three numbers, that's what you divide by. You divide by the cantidad de números que te tienen, okay? So you have three numbers, you divide 282 by three. So put your 282 here. Okay, and let's review our division. Can three go into two? No. Okay, can three go into 28? Yes. How many times? Three times nine is 27. Three times 10 is 30, so that's too big. Nine. Nine times. Nine times three is 27. Subtract. 28 minus 27 is one. Is one less than three? Yes, it is. That's your compare. Bring down. 12. 12 divided by three. Four. Four times three, 12. 12 minus 12, zero. Sorry, you can't say that, but it's 12 minus 12 is zero, right? Okay, is zero less than three? Yes, can you bring down? No, so your answer is 94. Okay, check it. Does that make sense that it's 94? Well, is it bigger than 97? No, is it smaller than 90? No, so this number has sentido, and your average is 94, okay? With that, you know how to do the whole front page. So I'm gonna do number one, letter A, with you, but the rest is up to you, okay? Even the word problems are average. And then I'm gonna do a few things on page 284 with you, okay? One more Okay, average. number one, letter A, looks like this. Remember, what are the two possibles to average? Add and divide. Okay, look at it. Can you have a number that's going to be above 77? No. Can you have an, an answer that's below 49? No. So let's find out what our average of these three numbers is. First, you add. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 plus 9 is 19. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 4 is 18. 189 is your addition, is your sum. You put that over here. What are you going to divide by? You have one, two, three numbers. <clears throat> there you go. Remember your division rules. Okay, divide. Can three go into one? No. Can three go into 18? Yes. How many times? 18 divided by three is six. Okay, multiply. Six times three is 18. Subtract. 18 minus 18 is zero. Is zero less than three? Yes, it is. That's your comparison. Bring down nine. 9 divided by 3, 3, 3 times 3, 9, 9 minus 9, 0. Is 0 less than 3? Yes, it is. Can you bring any more down? No, you cannot. So your average is 63. Eso tiene mucho sentido because, look, 
It's the number in the middle. Okay, so that is your answer for number one, letter A. Okay, now go over and look at number five. I want to help you with number five. Okay, you don't need help with letter A. You don't need help with letter B, I don't think. Okay, letter C and letter D I'm going to help you with. Okay, letter C, letter D, and letter E. Okay, letter C, look, it's asking which one is bigger, one-fourth or three-fourths? Well, Remember guys, when the denominator is the same, okay, when the denominator is the same, that means you have a pizza and you're cutting it into four slices, what do you prefer? Do you prefer one of those pizzas or do you prefer three? Three, because when the denominators are the same, the numerator that is bigger means that's the bigger fraction. When the denominators are the same, four and four, the numerator that's bigger is the bigger fraction. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna put the big boca by the big fraction, okay? Which means that one fourth is less than three fourths, okay? But it's different, you guys, when the denominator is different, but the numerator is the same. Because think about it. This time you're cutting your pizza into five pieces and you get two of them. But this time you have to share with seven people and you only get two of them. Which one's gonna have the smaller pieces, you guys? The smaller pedazos are gonna go with the one that has the more people that you're compartiendo with. Cause think about it. Let's say that you have a cake. One, two, three. You have five pieces right here. One, two, three, four, five, right? Okay. But let's put the same size cake down here, but cut it into seven. Which pieces are bigger? The one that only share with five. And you get two of these, and you only get two of these. So you get more with the one that has the smaller denominator, okay? So if the denominators are the same, bigger numerator is the biggest fraction. If the denominators are different, but the numerators are the same, then the one with the smaller denominator, the menos gente para compartir, is the bigger fraction. So two fifths is bigger than two sevenths. Okay, look over here. You have 100 degrees Celsius and 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Which one is bigger or are they equal? Well, look guys, you guys can use your conversion sheet, okay? 100 degrees Celsius is boiling point of water. 200 degrees Fahrenheit is also boiling point of water. So they are what? They are equal. It's when the water starts to get the burbujas, when it starts to um, get ready for espagueti or different things like that. Okay, it's boiling. So it is equal. 100 degrees Celsius is equal to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, okay guys, look down here at the brain booster. I'm gonna help you with that so you don't feel like you have to guess. Look, you don't have to answer the why question. You just have to answer the question. Which one is colder? Which one is más frío? 10 degrees Celsius or 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, look, you guys, this is 100 degrees Celsius, which equals 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which means that which one's always hotter? The one that's always hotter is Fahrenheit if, it, the, if it's the same, 10 and 10, because look right here. Zero degrees Celsius is freezing point, when it's 32 for Fahrenheit. So if you have 10 degrees Celsius and 10 degrees Fahrenheit, which one's always gonna be hotter? The Fahrenheit, okay? Which means they're asking for the colder one, which one's colder? 10 degrees Celsius, okay? Surprise, surprise for you, recompensa. You do not have to do this section, number six. You do not have to do number six. We'll do those kinds of things when we come back together presencial, okay? 
And you only have to do this part right here if it says it on your homework sheet for that night that you have to do that. So the only other thing I wanna go over with you today is number seven, okay, number seven. Look what it says on number seven, you guys. It says, round to the nearest dollar. Round to the nearest dollar. So you have $45.50. What's your dollar, your $1? What place is your $1? Five. These are some fables, right? This is your dollar. You have $45, so five. So they want you to round to here. So that means you need to decide, is it gonna go up to 46 or stay down at 45? So think about it, up to 46 or stay at 45? Well, you always look at the next number. You look at the five, okay? Remember I showed you the hill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One through four, you stay. Five and above, you go up, okay? This is a five, so does it go up to 46 or stay at 45? Well, I just told you, five and above goes up. So what's your answer? $46, okay, you can't just put six, you can't just put 46, you just put $46. Okay, I don't wanna help you with the other two because I wanna see if you are understanding. So the I'm done for today, it's all you. Let me know if you need any help. Proud of you guys, love you, bye.